Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can insert and delete merge fields in your mail merge publications as the need arises. This can occur if you have fields in your publication that no longer contain relevant data or if you collect new data that needs to be included in the publication. To remove a merge field from your publication, select the entire merge field that you want to delete. If you have a single text containing shape with multiple merge fields within it, click the merge field to delete the inside of the text containing shape to select it first. Next, press the delete key on your keyboard. Inserting new merge fields is as easy as deleting them. First, place your insertion marker at the place in the text box, merge field, or other text containing shape where you want the merge field to be inserted. Next, click the Insert Merge Field drop-down, then select the name of the field that you want to insert into your publication from the Buttons drop-down list of choices. The merge field will be inserted into the text containing shape at the position that you indicated with your pointer. If you had no shape in your publication page, then Publisher will add a Merge Field text box into which it will place the merge field. If you are performing a simple mailing and are using a data source with address information, you may prefer to use an address block or greeting line created by Publisher. This will speed up the placement of multiple merge fields in a publication. However, for this feature to work effectively, you should ensure that the field names in your data source are matched to the fields available in Publisher. If you use the data source created in Publisher, then this will be the case. However, if using an external data source, such as a list in an Excel spreadsheet, then you may need to match the field name in Publisher to the field names in your list before you can effectively use either the address block or greeting line buttons. To match the field in your data source with Publisher, click either the address block or the greeting line buttons in order to open up the Insert Address Block dialog box. Then click the Match Fields button. This will open up the Match Fields dialog box. Here you can identify which field in your data source matches each piece of information that publisher may need by selecting the name of the data source from the drop-down menu for each type of data shown. If the field is unavailable, simply leave it set at Not Matched. Once you have matched the data source and publisher, you can click the OK button to set it. If you have matched your data fields to publisher, or if you are simply using the default list provided when you create a new data source and publisher, then you can click the Address Block button. This will open up the Insert Address Block dialog box. Here you can check which elements you want to include in the address block by checking or clearing the check boxes in the Specify Address Elements section. Once you are finished, you can click the OK button to insert the address block. Likewise, you can click the greeting line button in order to open up the insert greeting line dialog box. In this dialog box, you can use the drop-down buttons that are available to set the appearance of the greeting line field for your publication. You can also set what to insert into the greeting line field if the record that you are merging doesn't have a valid recipient name. Once you are done, click the OK button to insert a standard greeting line into your merge publication. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.